I'm about to do probably the most insane thing that most probably, not even just YouTubers, you as a person or many people would never do. I'm about to expose one of my million dollar wallets right now in this video, just to show you guys some level of transparency. And it's hard because people shouldn't do this. Like you shouldn't go about showing people what you have. It's like when you have your bank and your bank card, first of all, if it's that interesting, drop that like. And I'll tell you why I'm doing it in a second. Um, you don't take your bank card and go, oh, look, look what I've got on here. Or come and look at my the ATM machine, look how much money I've got. So when I do this, I'm not doing it because I'm trying to be fancy. It's more on the other end of, he's an influencer. I'm just trying on your perspective, right? Because I, I get this a lot, I see it in the comments. Uh, you say you've got this and you've got that, and uh, but you're not being transparent enough because you're not showing you how much you've got. Well, technically speaking, influencers shouldn't have to, but in a sense, they kind of should. So it's a hard one. It's a hard one for all influencers because it's like we want to show you that we're trying to show you decent projects, coins that we hold. And that's the, that's the key word, coins that we hold. So I thought if I expose one of my, because I've got a huge amount of wallets, and one thing I've learned since being in crypto since 2015 is you have to have huge diversity in your portfolio, but also the maximum security by not keeping all your eggs in one basket. So it, it's, it's a mad one. This is, this is, I've never done this before on my flipping. I mean, I show you coins here and there, like, oh, look, I've got this amount or whatever, but this is, I'm literally exposing one of my wallets, one of my million dollar wallets, uh, but I will not be doing a video like this again. It's just to show you guys, the people that follow me, my Patreons, that when I say I'm buying something and I'm holding, I, you know, I, I technically am. So what I've done over the years from learning, my learning experience, and you can do this as well before I show you the wallet, is I've learned to mitigate my risk by holding uh, wh whichever coins I have spreading them through a certain amount of wallets. Because if for some reason this wallet goes down or it gets hacked or you know stolen, whatever it is, I've 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 still got plenty of the tokens spread ac across multiple wallets. That's an important thing to do. Because if you do leave your stuff in one basket or one wallet for this example, and it goes down, then you're, you're screwed. You've lost everything. So I'm happy sharing one wallet-ish. <laughs> and this is just purely for the fact that I think YouTubers of my size that have a huge influence in this market should be transparent in sh uh, some shape or form to their viewers. Hopefully you can see and, and gain more trust from your viewers, uh, especially me running a Patreon as well. I've got a lot of people that, you know, they, they, they work hard. You all work hard. You pay your good money to be there. And I just want to show you that what I say uh, I'm holding is, is correct, right? So, yeah. <laughs> It's sound interesting, drop the like. <laughs> it's like I mess about a lot, right? I clown about, but I'm trying to be serious at the same time. You know, you can go onto this, and this is a really good project. I might invest in it. <laughs> I might invest in it. You could go to Arkham, which allows you to take any contract address if you know it, and you can paste it in. One of these in, uh, YouTube influencers, a younger, oh, sorry, I'm going to watch it there. Uh, a younger influencer leaked one of my, or exposed, shall we say, one of my wallets many months ago. <laughs> Shout out to you. Uh, and it's cool. Uh, it, it happens in crypto, right? It's hard to keep, because what they did is they found, I've been using it a lot, showing you in videos, right? So, and it's also uh, attached to my open seat. So um, I had this situation where a bunch of people were trying to find multiple different wallets of mine. <laughs> I don't know how many they found, but I have huge. I have a huge amount. I, I, I've got to keep it real. I have about 30 to 50 wallets. And when you have a certain amount of money that you want to protect, it's important that you really protect it right. Right? And the, what I'm going to show you, is, is there's no, this is nothing to do with stable coins. My stable coins, I have an entirely different, or a few, about 10 different ledgers that, that carry my stable coins because it's a huge amount of holdings. But this is how I mitigate risk, right? So 
here's the thing. I'm going to show you one wallet. Be transparent. Hopefully, this makes you guys realize that actually what he's saying is kind of true. Like, he, he does hold certain amounts of tokens. And I'm not, I'm not here to mess anyone about. My channel's always been about, let me show you what I'm going to do. Let me show you what I'm seriously interested in. Let me show you that I'm going to invest. I'm going to clown about, have some fun, try and make people laugh, do stupid things. But ultimately, I'm investing like you guys. And I'm not dumping on people is what the main thing is because this is the problem that people have is you, you look at influence and go, oh, they're, making, they're saying we should buy this, but we're, they're dumping our tokens. <laughs> so um, the first coin, oh, first coin. See, I'm so used to saying coin. <laughs> the my, my only wallet that I'm going to share is this one here. Uh, one of my ledgers, like I said, I've got multiple ledgers. And I really highly recommend that if you're going to do this, uh, actually, no, don't, I, I think... I don't think you guys should ever expose your wallets because, again, it's like your personal bank details. Um, but I think at some point in the future, and hopefully this inspires other influencers, especially if you, if you have a large following, people, you know, you're high influence in this space. I definitely think you should, sh well, you shouldn't, but uh, just to show your, your audience that you're real in what you say, if you're buying these coins, you're holding them so they can see. Take a look at this, right? I've copied my, my, my address up here. This is one of my wallets. Um, I'm going to paste it in and you're going to see what, what's in this particular wallet, right? So you can paste it in, press enter, and it shows here. So this particular wallet, I'm holding $1.3 million in this wallet, right? And on the left-hand side here, you can see what tokens I'm holding. And like I said, I have a vast amount of wallets that I've spread these tokens across. I'm not stupid enough to want to hold the majority of it in. Some wallets linked to others you can probably see it on the blockchain and stuff and then there's others where they don't even you, you won't find them you simply won't find them because when i'm moving them i'm moving them from exchanges and and i'm never ever linking any other wallets to them right so you, you just simply won't find them uh, but in this one you can see i've got at the top here and so it's clever because it can find all the different tokens that you have on the wallet address this is arkham across multiple different chains so you can see the tokens that i have on the left hand side you can see the price of what that token is right now you can see how much is in this particular wallet that's being held and you can see the value of that token as well you can also see at, <laughs> if i'm up or down in, in, in dollars right you can see i'm minus and i'm plus right <laughs> so and then this just shows over a, a long period of time of you know your profits and losses can i scroll up just this whole little blue bar blue line thing uh, profits and losses or whatever it is right and if you come down here you can have a look at things like exchanges that i've been using so you can see i've been using like for example in this particular wallet binance and i've moved maybe four hundred thousand dollars through binance two hundred and seventy thousand dollars through kucoin two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars through mexc and so forth right so this is one of the the, the wallets that i'm going to expose just hopefully i really hope that this gives people a better insight to who i am meaning that when i share videos yeah i can be I, oh 100x because i'm looking for 100x right um but ultimately i am buying and i'm holding these coins you know i'm not dumping on my people and this is why i think influencers should probably especially if you're of my large size should probably just expose one of your wallets to show trust in your community and and yeah so uh, gmee i have about four million in this particular wallet which is about $110,000. Uh, Neural, and I'm, if you want to look at the tokens, you're doing your own time, go on that like CoinGecko and check it out and everything else, right? Neural AI, in this particular wallet, I have about 81,000 tokens, which is worth about $100,000. GPU, which is Node AI, I have about 121,000 uh, tokens in this particular wallet, which is roughly about $85,000. Then I got plays up here, which is about 500,000 tokens here, which is about $75,000. I got render over here, which is I'm holding about 10,000 in this particular wallet. It's about 73 grand. I've got, what is that? Oh, it's Blender. It doesn't say Blender. I got Blender over here, about 150,000 tokens in Blender on this particular wallet, which is about 66,000. I've got AGIX. It's weird because when I look at this, I know that some of these tokens are of my highest holdings, but it's because you can't see it because it's all spread across loads of different coins. Uh, wallets, sorry. I've got about 100,000 AGIX in this particular wallet. It's got about almost about 60,000. EDU, Open Campus, I've got about 100,000 tokens here, about $58,000. 
I'm holding some uh, Aethia over here, about 778,000 tokens, which is about 50 grand, $50,000. I've got Open Fabric over here, which is about 224,000 tokens, which amounts to about $47,000. Chain GPT, 300,000 tokens in this particular wallet. I'm also uh, staking some Chain GPT because of it's um to get to get like access to the diamond tier which gives you access to all the latest IDOs you need to hold a certain amount right so but yeah it's, an, it's on another wallet but this particular one shows forty six thousand dollars I've got pair P here which says I've got about three point four billion tokens in this particular wallet about thirty eight grand I got storage uh, on this particular wallet as well, about 100,000 of them, $38,000. I've got some optimistic here, OP, about 20,000 tokens here, which is roughly about $35,000. I've got some magic, which is a gaming coin, you know, you probably know about it. Um, I've got about 50,000 tokens over here on this particular wallet, which is about 30,000 tokens. I've got some IMX. 20,000 tokens there, which is about $30,000. $30, I've got some Gala over here, uh, which is about a million tokens, about $30,000. <coughs> got some Gamer Arena, which is, I've got about half a million tokens over here, which is about $29,000. Got some Jasmine over here in one of my wallets, roughly about a million in this wallet. Uh, $28,000 is what it's worth. I've got some Wojak. <laughs> This is one of my larger holdings, which which really shocked me recently because I just I don't know it's mad. Uh, but in this particular wallet, I got about thirty million sitting over here, which is about twenty eight thousand dollars. <coughs> uh, hello token, I've got about a million hello tokens over here, <coughs> which is about twenty five thousand dollars. I've got ADS, which is like all about ads, two hundred thousand tokens over here, which amounts to about twenty two thousand dollars. I've got VRA, Veracity. Right, coins that you haven't heard me speak about for a long while, and you're wondering, does he still hold them? Yeah, of course, I've got multiple different wallets. In this wallet, I've got about 6.5 million tokens, which amounts to about $21,000. I've got High Street in this actual wallet, which is about, I've got 10,000 tokens there, which amounts to about $18,000. I've got some Gen AI in this wallet. This is Gen Box. Uh, this particular wallet holds 8.3 million tokens which is about $17,000. I've got XCAD, some XCAD over here, 31,000 in this particular wallet, which is about $17,500. I've got some Miria, which in this one I've got about 5 million Miria here. Uh, uh, is this, this one's not connected to my actual nodes, because I've got another one that's connected to the nodes, another wallet. But in this one it's about 5 million, $17,000 worth. I've got some cock in you. <laughs> well, not in you, but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, 10 billion tokens, which amounts to about $16,000. I've got some Proppy over here, about 10,000 tokens worth, which is about $13,000. I've got some Artificial Liquid Intelligence. I hold a huge amount of tokens. And, you know, back, I'm just I'm pause for a minute. In the old days, <laughs> a few years ago, uh, it, was, it was very wise to maybe have 15 coins as a max as your portfolio and back then back in 2015 there wasn't or 2016 even even 2020 there wasn't a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies is what they were today we saw after the main you know doge rushing going crazy the doge pumping and going crazy we saw a huge amount of memes get created binance smart chain became a hot thing loads of different DeFi things came out it just created so many new tokens so um as time's gone on, is what I'm trying to get at, we've now had to adjust to new narratives, different types of narratives that can moon. And what you've noticed in the recent cycle, 2024, is that it just takes one type of narrative. You don't, people feel like they've missed a bull cycle. You feel like the bull cycle hasn't happened. Well, for memes, it did. <laughs> just gotta keep it real. <laughs> memes have been the best before. We've saw, I've seen massive gains. So what I've realized is, this time round, compared to the last few cycles, we have to have strong portfolio builds. And I will be bringing a video on this, which is why I've got a huge amount of tokens. Because I need to have a strong AI portfolio build. I need to have a strong gaming build. I need to have a strong deep in build. Whatever it is, RWA, a strong meme build. And that's what you're seeing here. Strong builds. So my different portfolios, yeah, I'm going to hold more tokens, but they're going to be strong portfolio, uh, strong cryptos within that narrative. And if the narrative pumps, great, I make more money. 
Uh, Stratos is in this. $11,000 worth. I've got about 20,000 tokens in this particular wallet. I've got some Cross Network. 15,000 tokens was about $10,000. I got some blood loop in this particular wallet. Uh, Thirty thousand tokens was about ten thousand dollars. CTI, which is Clintex, uh, one of my favorite projects. I got five hundred thousand tokens in this particular wallet, which amounts to about nine thousand, almost nine and a half thousand dollars. I got some Next Era over here, uh, which was Alliance Block. I got about one hundred thirty thousand tokens in this particular wallet, which amounts to about nine thousand dollars. I got some Shrapnel. Uh, 108,000 tokens in this wallet, which amounts to about $7,000. I've got some Satoshi's Island, I think it's called. 20,000 tokens in this particular wallet, which is about $6,000. And as I'm going down, all these these figures, that's what amounts to 1.3 million, right? Um, I mean, it's, there's loads. I can keep going. What's the lowest figure? Oh, okay, so we're almost at the end. So I'm just burping. Okay, I'm almost at the end. So let's just keep going. Well, uh, OVR, 25,000 of them. Uh, I've got $6,000. I've got Tailcoin over here, 1.3 million in this particular wallet, $3,000-ish. 3 3, XTP, 1 million tokens in this wallet, roughly about $2,000. BBL, uh, which is Beeble, I've got about 50,000 tokens in this particular wallet, which amounts to about 1000 almost $2,000. Uh, I've got some Ethereum just sitting there for gas fees. You know, sometimes you just need ETH for gas. I've got about $800 that I use for gas fees. Uh, and then, yeah, just... Uh, what's these? Just things, smaller, very tiny amounts of so hot. I think that was just. I, I think that was airdrop to me. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Uh, I got some Avax there again. These are just BNB. These are just amounts that I just use for gas fees. So, I've been. I've probably been the most transparent YouTuber, especially in crypto right now, more than any other YouTuber because they. I don't think they would do this. And cool they don't have to shout out to you guys you know you don't have to and it's, it's a, like i said it's a tough one because we're building a strong community with you guys and you guys are phenomenal shout out to you guys but at some point you, you don't want people to feel like you're dumping on them so the way to do that is you show them something that you have so that's why i think it's important and that's what this video was about yeah so I'm going to continue uh, to keep showing you great projects. I, I think this particular wallet can easily 10x, make me $13 million on this one. Um, and I'm just going to sit back because I don't feel like the bull cycle is over yet. I'm watching the market and constantly making sure that I'm going to put myself in a position where I can sell at the top. I don't feel like this is the top of the cycle yet. If it is fine, if it all falls to zero, well, I won't allow it to. I will make my decisions quick based on the decisions and, and things that I'm seeing in the market. As an investor, especially a smart investor, you have to be quick to adapt to the market. And this is what I teach over on my Patreon. So if you want to become a patron, you're welcome to do so. The link is in the info section. Click it. I'll grab it up. Um, and, and just guiding people on their journey. Guiding people on their journey, showing them the that actually it's possible to make money in crypto. I started with $200, that's all I had. 200 quid, it was about $230. In UK, we call it quid, it's in British pounds, darling. British pounds. And yeah, I was <laughs> getting government money, just kept putting my 200 in every month, just kept putting it in. But that was back in 2015, so I was able to buy like your XRPs at like 008, whatever it was. Um, yeah, I had mad opportunities. Um, and I see the same kind of opportunities this time around which is why I keep sharing these videos. So yeah, you're gonna see some high risk, stupid micro cap, toxic coins, where I'm putting two, three, four hundred dollars here and there, but they're playabouts for me. They're not, they're not, they're not like, they're not gonna be uh, front runners. They're not gonna be ones that are, are, are top performers, unless they do, unless you get something like a Pepe. Um, but I'm look, uh, these coins that I show you right now, the gaming stuff, the AI stuff, they're going to be first movers to make massive gains. And I believe so, which is why I'm still holding them. So I hope this was educational for you. I hope this kind of opened your mind a bit to what I'm like when I share cryptocurrencies and stuff. If it was helpful, drop that like, give me a subscribe. I won't be doing it again, though. <laughs> I'll show you one wallet to show you my full transparency in that I have a lot of money in crypto and that I'm holding long term and I'm not actually dumping on my guys or meaning you guys I'm here to try and share my journey and just hopefully you guys can get something out of it in, in a sense of 
just learning, learning about crypto, learning about what to do and what not to do, yeah? So yeah, links are in the info section to the Patreon. You're basically getting in on a fresh month. I recommend the exclusive VIP partner tier. Let me show you this one here because this one unlocks all the posts. You will see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, when I'm IDOing, whatever I'm doing, you will see it, right? And this tier is powerful because it does unlock all the posts. If you can afford it, my next tier above, which is my most popular tier, is my CEO tier, gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. It's a powerful network. You it, Just by joining my Patreon, and if it's not mine, hopefully it's someone else's, whoever you join, you need to be part of a powerful network. And that's why I have a powerful network, people that understand the trends, M many other millionaires in this space that, that know how to make money, they're finding hot projects getting in early all the time, people that are great with micro caps and stuff that constantly making 5, 10x every day. You know, my VIP group never sleeps, there's over 800 patrons in there, big up to all of you, shout out to everyone in the patrons, shout out to you guys on my channel as well, that just know how to make money. So yeah, come check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me put it back to this, as soon as I've been on here. <laughs> And I'll see you in my next video. Cheers. Oh,